Hey everyone, it's Rad, and I want to thank Keen for they are the sponsor of this video. And don't skip ahead, for I do have a special and exciting announcement to uh, make, including a very, very special gift for anyone who is watching, which I will get to it a uh, soon. For those who doesn't know Keen, this amazing website provides you with an access to a vetted psychics, spiritual advisors who can provide a guidance and insight in into life's challenges, into clarity in love, into relationships, and as well into career and, and many, many more. And Keen, it is a one of the most uh, affordable way to get an instant psychic reading with a professional at any time, 24 seven. What I love about Keen is that it is perfect for anyone who wants to talk with someone right away, anytime, anywhere there is no wait and it is excellent if you do have a burning question that literally needs an answer right now and it is double perfect for if you are on a budget too and here is where my gift for you guys is coming in for anybody who wants to talk with advisor on keen just click my link in the description down below and you get a 10 minutes for just only two dollars and just see for yourself for i do support keen and i have been around the block a lot when it comes to um psychics readers and especially prophets and i can tell you that there are those who are false but uh judging by the way keen found me i can tell you that they are venting their uh advisors uh, very carefully and you i do encourage you to try it out especially if you do have questions that i cannot answer like for example about health like for example about a reallocation because Saro is just not designed for that uh, for example as well yes or no questions as well guys it's only two dollars for 10 minutes and i cannot think of a better way to try it out and uh, get the clarity you seek so there are a uh, tarot readers, psychic readers, uh, love and relationship advisors, and as well spiritual advisors there. Uh, and you can take your time to make a selection of the reader of your choice, establish a bond, which is going to establish as well a goal, be it a uh, intention setting, be it a, a chakra clearing, be it healing, manifesting, and many, many more. And what is also amazing there is that Keen provides every customer of theirs with a monthly discount, which is a um, clearly a way to show you that they do appreciate you being there and it also provides you with a way to afford multiple readings should you need so the signing up process very simple i'm going to show you how all that you have to do is just watch my screen very few simple clicks for their website it is made intuitively and it's just you cannot get it wrong and just in these few simple clicks you are get yourself ready to make your selection of uh, readers and dive into your spiritual journey right away so to use my gift just click in the link in the description box and get your 10 minutes with a keen advisor of your choosing for just only two us dollars and and see for yourself how amazing they really are with the variety of their uh, advisors and as well the prices which have a ton of variety too should you be on a budget thank you keen for sponsoring this video Scorpio, welcome guys, and in this video we're going to check into our week, uh, February 28th up until March 6th, 2022, and uh, should you enjoy the content here of the channel and you do wish to support me, just leave a like, subscribe, hit the, this notification bell so you do not miss any of our uh, weekly live streams and as well videos. So with that said, without a further ado, let's uh, check on our week. I'm so looking forward to it. Uh, first one that we do, it's, it's, it's the sun. I mean, it is the sun, the sun. 
That's great. Followed by the nine of uh, wands. So we do have career incentive and as well romantic incentive here. And I'm going to dive into it a little bit deeper when we go in. Uh, followed by the hangman. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the three of pentacles. And uh, finally, what we have that is going to be the six of swords. All right. So these five cards and actually it carries on a little bit more business, kind of like a a, uh, the business theme and topic into this reading than anything else uh, what i can tell us and you and me because i am scorpio as well it is that that week is going to be with a lot of themes and topics at the front is going to be our happiness and how we are going to make ourselves happy and we will going to make ourselves happy guys another thing about this topic it is that little by little everything we do is just it's it's just gonna grow it's it, it is bound to do to happen that way whether it is a rom a romantic uh, intentions uh, or rather like a act uh romantic results business results it's just they are little by little they are going to grow another thing it is that we can mend certain relationships as well it's just this reading is so versatile you wouldn't believe it but i i, I will not going to be able to talk about everything here i'm just going to stop to the major topics to the more major topics than the others uh also the reading shows that we are going to get as well support uh, for our things we do either either that support maybe through investment for example or a professional support so on and so forth uh, another thing about as well it is that we will be able to convince people into our not righteousness but our cause and gather up followers it just is going to be very successful very versatile week right <laughs> so uh starting up the week here with uh, the sun card it's just the card shows whatever we're doing at the start of the week that we carry on from the previous week it is just something which is bound to grow and to succeed the sun card represents expanding energies of growth natural progression natural progression means that we are just meant for that thing it is something that goes very easy that is going to happen it's just not our natural way moving forward whether it is about romance whether it is about career it also the sun card could carry on as well a monetary gains and success especially when it comes to business deals of course this is where the monetary gain come from and additionally to it the sun shows that we are going to be happy it is just especially among people okay it's just people will contribute for our happiness we're going to contribute for pe for people's happiness as well and under the energy of the sun card we we can forge fruitful partnerships friendships and uh, if it's about a, a love relationship it just is going to be one of these relationships where you are feeling happy for your partner's happiness and vice versa and it's just there isn't anything more valuable at least to me that is into the uh into the emotional journey into one relationship and after uh, the sun it's kind of like it does its job to set us on our natural way and make things to grow little by little uh the nine of uh, wands kind of sets in this is the period from the start to the middle of the week and that is the moment guys where we're going to start seeing flaws not the bad flaws though under flaw i mean things we can do better and uh um, the nine of uh, wands it is not where you are battered okay the nine of wands it is that you had so many battles behind you like conflict solving you know problems and so on and so forth that you simply have a lot of experience you are not that the nine of swords is not your battered or wounded there is no blood on the cloth and it's just that cloth it's it's there because the guy uh, do, doesn't have it on his eyes 
like you do have it in the sword card. So he sees clearly, he knows what he needs to do. Okay, he does have the experience as he can arrange the ones behind him the way suits him best and is exactly what you are going to do, what we are going to do. We are going to arrange our affairs exactly as they are going to serve us best from the start to the middle of the week. And also the Nine of Wands carries on another message that it is not shown very well uh, in these cards. But luckily I have just so, uh, next to me other cards that I can show it much, uh, <clears throat> much more clearly. And that is just the spontaneous uh, intention here, guys. I don't have it prepared at all, but I really want to show you what I mean, all right? Just, just bear with me for a second uh oh come on come on where is the nine of wands uh oh my god oh the very last one <laughs> of course it's gonna be the very last one so uh the nine of wands what do you see right you do see the sun, you do see the moon, and there is a bridge in between. So the sun, the masculine energy, and the moon, the feminine energy. If there isn't a better card for connecting these two energies together, it's just there isn't one. So if you are completely free from any emotional burdens, from a, uh, old exes, uh, old relationship exes, and so on and so forth, it's very likely that you, me, and anybody else as a Scorpio is to find a connection with the opposite sex, should that be something you are into, and that is your preference, okay? It's just, it's a, one of the most, it, it is one of the cards that carry on the most predisposition for it, okay? And, uh, yeah, I mean, if, if, if you are into such thing and you are craving for such thing, then there you go. It is, it is where you are going to have it. And uh, right after that, the middle of the week sets in, and that is the hangman. And with the hangman, it's just that will be the time, rest assured, we did everything we could, everything correctly. And now it's time for us to wait the, uh, the time to do its part. It's just, it's time for us to wait the universe to do its part. So with the hangman, it's very important that we are not relentless and as well restless. And also the, the hangman, it's kind of like a test to test our self-belief and lack of doubt into our deeds. Okay. Because uh, take it that way, that the first half of the week, the, the week, it is where we plant the seeds of our intentions, of our actions. And from there, we just have to wait those seeds to grow. And that is what the hangman is. But rest assured, under the energy of the hangman, the sky is darkened, which is maybe our doubt or our self um, or lack of belief, for example, uh, is going to be set into light again. And all that we got to do is, is just wait. We did all the arrangements. You did. We did all the action, whether it is into our career or in our romantic life. And now we just have to wait to you know, the universe to do its part. For some of us who are uh, used to always, uh, uh, to have always emotion and things to happen one after another, that is not going to be an easy time because we have to stay put and just white but for others people like me uh, it's going to be a piece of cake okay so uh <clears throat> i hope guys that you do not kind of like panic here because with under the energy of the hangman the more you try to force things to happen the uh, the more you kind of like uh, restrict yourself and the worse the situation actually becomes and uh, right after that period of time the three of pentacles sets in this is from the mid towards the end of the week and that is the moment where the support comes in that is the moment where the uh, the cooperation sets in as well with other people with with mentors uh with uh, individuals who are very experienced into, into what we are trying to do especially when we're talking about career that is the moment where finances may come about investments uh help which is going to be very sincere and that will carry on with it uh, also uh, uh criticism 
that we will have to take in because it's going to be a constructive criticism but the bottom line is that from the mid towards the end of the week that period of time is going to be full of a fruitful discussions as well of a uh, very uh, positive cooperations with people around and in generally uh, there we are going to start laying true foundations toward uh, our growth that is to uh, ensure not to ensure but how can i put it into to stabilize to set our growth and ensure it to move a even uh, even further and at the ending it's it's great because we do have the six of swords and if it's if by that stage you still have people that are doubting in you well rest assured under the energy of the six of swords these people will doubt you no more for with this card you just we are going to have the capacity to convince everybody into the common cause and as well to fight the fear because uh, the doubt into the common cause is going to be uh, provoked by the lack of, of, of insight into what would happen and with the six of swords we're just going to convince people that if you have a dream okay you do have a dream well where just dreaming for and get you to nowhere right so we just have to do something at the end about it and that is the moment where you do convince people about it that you have to do something about your goals about your dreams about your wishes about your happiness and you're also going to convince yourself we are going to convince ourselves and uh, we are going to make the first steps and believe me under the energy of the six of swords any action is better than no action and any action will produce better results than anything we have at that point and uh, if you are afraid from what can happen your fear rest assured with that card it's pretty much in vain and so with that uh, this is our reading for scorpio hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it guys and we are to see each other next time until then bye